Now you can obviously take that when you see the next question and walk away. But have a look. If you give me a right answer to this question, if you decide to play it, it's worth a quarter of a million. Question number 13 of 15. Calgary is in which Canadian province? Ontario, Manitoba, British Columbia, Alberta. You don't have to play this at all, Brian, but it's worth a quarter of a million. I'd love to play it. I really would. <sighs> but I think I'd get killed if I was wrong. You can't see it, Brian, but yes, you're right. <laughs> No, I'm going to take the money, Chris. I've got to. I've got to? Yeah. It's... I'm not... I'm not absolutely certain. Yeah, I've got to take the money. What do you think? What, um... I think it's Alberta, but... No. No, it's... the most money I've ever seen in my life. It's the most money I'm ever likely to have in my life. And I just can't afford to give it away. No. Final answer. Final answer. Take the money. OK, I tell you, a big sigh of relief from all of us. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Brian Jones walks away with £125,000. You've been such a great sport, Brian, such a great contestant. You've been very brave. I know you'll want to know this. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you had said to me, Alberta, I'll be writing out a cheque at this moment for £250,000. It was the right answer, but you stood to lose £93,000, Brian. I think you did the right thing. Frighten us to death. Give him a huge hand. He goes away with £125,000. Cheers, well done, mate. Another white knuckle ride. Brian Jones leaves us with £125,000 and he knew the answer for the quarter of a million. We've still got eight players left tonight, so it's fastest fingers first. Audience, nice and quiet, please, so they can concentrate. Let's have a go again. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these actors in order according to when they first won an Oscar. Marlon Brando, Spencer Tracy, Jack Nicholson, Anthony Hopkins. Eight left and eight worried frowns on that. Let's see. Uh, the right order, then. The order starting with the earliest. Uh, Spencer Tracy first, way back in 1937. Marlon Brando in 54. Hardly changed at all, has he? Uh, Jack Nicholson in 75. And Anthony Hopkins in 1991. That's the right order. Let's see how many of our remaining eight got that right, then. Let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right. Only two. Jeff Arundel in 6.95 seconds. <laughs> Amazed. <laughs> Absolutely amazed. Sam, does someone pay for a million quid? Yeah. Why yes, not? that'd be good. Okay, Jeff, good luck. Here we go. Here we go again tonight. This is Jeff Arundel, a company director from Bath. His son Alex is up there in the audience, looking very proud. And the last thing he ever won was a poetry book <laughs> back in 1959. You ready for this? Yeah. OK, good luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Question number one is worth £100. Here it is. According to the nursery rhyme, what did little Bo Peep lose? Her cows, her sheep, her marbles, 
The plant? <laughs> <laughs> I did weeks ago. It's one of those. Yeah, it's her sheep. Her sheep is the right yeah. answer, Jeffrey. Well done. Yeah. And already your son Alex up there in the audience has spent it. Right, you got £100. Have a look at this for 200 quid. Here it is, question number two. What is the specific name for a person skilled in horsemanship? Lancastrian, equestrian, vegetarian, pedestrian. B, equestrian. It's the right answer, Jeffrey. You've got £200. Third <laughs> question, you've got all three right ones. Here we go. What would you be most likely to do with a King Edward? I don't know why that makes me laugh. Eat it, fly it, crown it, tax it. I'd eat it, Chris. What is it? It's a potato. Well, that's right, I just wonder why you'd eat it. <laughs> it's the final answer, it's the right answer, you've got 300 quid. <laughs> Have a look at this for 500 quid, you've still got those three left. Which TV quiz was originally presented by Bamba Gascoigne? Wheel of Fortune, Bullseye, University Challenge, That's My Dog. Mm. What a show that was, by the way. Yeah, that's University Challenge, Chris. That's the right answer, you got 500 pounds. <laughs> this next question is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. It's question number five, have a look. What is an anaconda? Musical instrument, snake, hat, weapon. It's worth a thousand pounds. I think it's a snake. But uh, you would go home with nothing I, if you gave me a wrong answer. I'm embarrassed to say I'd like to use the 50-50. That's what they're there for. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Jeff just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I'm going to go with snake, Chris. Final answer, yep. it's the right answer, you've got a £1,000. <laughs> You're OK, that's what Lifelines are for. You've still got a phone friend and you can still ask the audience. You're guaranteed to go home a lot happier now with a thousand pounds guaranteed. Exactly. You're ten questions away from one million. Have a look at question number six. It's worth two thousand pounds. How is the year two thousand expressed in Roman numerals? D D D D, M D D, M C D C, M M. Again, I think it's. It's NM, but uh, I'm going to use a, another lifeline here. Can I ask the audience, Chris? You can. Oh, good. It's Roman numerals, everybody. Oh, goody. OK, on your keypads, please, audience. Let's get Jeff up to at least £2,000. He's got 1000 A, B, C or D. All vote now. Uh, 4% think it's D, 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 D. 2% think it's MDD, 11% uh, MCDC, 83% is quite high saying MM, which is what you thought. Yeah. I've got to go with the audience. I'd, I'd like to go with that. Final answer? Chris, yeah, final answer, DMM. You've just won £2,000. <laughs> Jeff, listen, you're okay. You've still got phone a friend. You've got two thousand pounds at the moment. You can walk away any time you like. Have a look at the next question. You're guaranteed a thousand tonight. Whatever. Have a look at question number seven. It's worth four thousand pounds. Which policy of a return to traditional British values was launched by John Major in 1993? Back to basics. Citizens' Charter. Maastricht Treaty. Opportunity 2000. I'd like to play, Chris. OK. I think it's Citizens Charter. And that's you my lose final... lose 1,000 if you're wrong. You sure? I appreciate that. It's my final answer. You had 2,000 pounds. You had a lifeline left. Jeff, it's the wrong answer. Ah. <laughs> 
basics. It's okay. back to basics is the right answer. You still yeah. got your thousand pounds. Okay. I'm sorry, Jeff. You look very it's confident cool. on that one. That's probably I the life I left. I'm afraid the right yeah. answer is back to basics. Give him a big hand. He still goes away <laughs> on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with one thousand pounds. Thanks for coming. Have a great night. Out. Spend the ground with the sun as fast as you can. Good night. So, Jeff Arundel goes racing back to Bath, still with £1,000. Time now to meet tonight's ten brand-new contestants. They are... <laughs> Stephen Edge from Stoke-on-Trent. <laughs> Tina Wadick from London. <laughs> Mick Clover from West Yorkshire. <laughs> Dennis Evans from Surrey. <laughs> Andrew Compton from Cheshire. <laughs> John Shemmings from Tyne and Weir. <laughs> Richard Kendall from Derbyshire. Gareth Pritchard from Dorset. John Hunt from Surrey. And Martin Prattley from Suffolk. Right, good luck, everybody. That's your brand-new contestants uh, tonight. It's Fastest Finger First. Now, whoever gets the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next to play. Audience, no calling out, please. I need them to concentrate. Fastest Finger First, here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these four plays in the order they were written. Private Live, Shirley Valentine, The Mousetrap, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Well, they'll finish very quickly. Let's see what happened. Uh, this is the right order, then. This is the correct order, starting with the earliest. Midsummer Night's Dream, that was back in uh, something like 1590. Uh, Private Lives, that was written in the 30s. Uh, Mousetrap was in the 50s. And the most recent, of course, Shirley Valentine. That was written in the 80s. That's the right order. Let's find out who got that right, and then, more importantly, who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right. Only two got it right. Richard Kendall was fastest in 8.16 seconds. Come on, Richard. That's good. He's absolutely ecstatic. Ecstatic. That's a for a million pounds. Yep. Please, come on, let's do it. Here we go again. This is Richard Kendall. He's an administrator from Kilburn. That's the Kilburn up near Derby. Uh, his son, Ian, is up there in the audience. OK, Richard, good luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> so, 15 questions. Number one, worth £100. Here it comes. Which of these was a hit single for pop group Aqua? Action Man. Barbie Girl. Cindy Doll. Game Boy. So any issue, it was absolutely cringe-making. Barbie girl. <laughs> it's the right answer, you got £100. Yeah. As soon as I say cringe-making, oh, that's Barbie girl then. Right, you've got 100 quid. <laughs> Take your time. You've got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Question number two for £200, here it is. Who's the patron saint of Scotland? St David. St George. St Patrick. St Andrew. St Andrew. That's right, answer. You've got £200. <laughs> OK, question number three for 300 quid. Here it comes. Elvis Presley is often referred to by which nickname? The Prince, the Duke, the King, the Earl. The King. The King's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Have a look at question number four. It's worth £500. Just be aware of your lifelines. Take your time. What's the nationality of all astronauts who've set foot on the moon? Russian, Belgian, American, Chinese. I must get this one right. American. <laughs> it's the right answer. Of course it's the right answer. <laughs> you got £500. Last point at which you could go back with nothing. Rich, take your time. Question number five. It's worth £1,000. Here it comes. At the end of the magic roundabout, what did Zebedee say that it was time for? A bath. Walking the dog. Bed. A nightcap. Time for bed, said Zebedee. Final answer? Yeah. It's right, it's good. You got £1,000. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, Richard, you've got £1,000. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. You've still got phone and friend. You can still ask the audience. How are you feeling now? Are you still feeling ecstatic? Mm, yes, absolutely. Enjoying it? Yes, thanks. Feel calm? OK. Well, take your time. Have a look at the next question. You might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Whatever happens, you might as well play this one. You're guaranteed to leave here tonight a lot happier with at least a 1000 Here it comes. Question number six. You are ten away from one million. Take your time. Which specific word used by British soldiers serving overseas means back home? Civvy Street, Tipperary, Blighty, AWOL. What, think? what the World War I soldiers used to call Blighty wounds. Blighty. Blighty wounds meaning they could go home, home and stop, stop yeah. fighting the war? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. It's good, you got £2,000. <laughs> OK, and you've still got all three lifelines. Take your time, have a look. You could double your money to 4,000, question number 7 of 15. Which stroke do swimmers normally use when the event is classed as freestyle? Backstroke, butterfly, front crawl, breaststroke. Front crawl. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> 